grade two. Welcome to music today. Today, I'm very excited. We are going to take your science class, those instruments that you created in your science class, and we are going to use them for music class today. So what I need you to do right now is I need you to pause the video and go get your drum and your shakers. These are my son's drums and my son's shakers. Now don't worry if your drum only has one part or if your shaker looks different, it is okay. Whatever instrument you created is going to work for what we're doing. So go ahead and go get your drum and your shaker that you created in your science class. So go ahead and pause the video. Did you get it? Okay. All right, I'll assume now you have your drum in front of you and you have your shakers off to the side. Um, let me just explain my son's instrument. So here is my son's Kai, his instrument. Um, we put it on this nice soft yoga mat. It helps it with the sound a little bit. He has one, two, three, four, five, six different parts. He has two plastic buckets and then three bamboo tubes and one metal candlestick holder. Lots of fun to make lots of sound. His shakers are these water bottles. Um, one of them sounds like this. It's really loud. Inside it, he put dice. So a little hard dice inside, so that's one. And the second one sounds like this. Inside it is rice. Um, so I'll probably be using this one when we get to it. Some of what we're gonna do today is gonna be on the drum, and some of what we're gonna do today is on the shaker. Now, if you don't have the drum, or if you don't have the shaker, uh, just do it on the instrument you have. If you don't have an instrument at all, you can just do it on the wall. That's fine too, or do it on the floor. Um, you don't have to do it on your instrument, but I hope that you will. Um, if you can do it on the right instrument, that's better. But if you can't, that is okay too. Just do it on whatever instrument or whatever things you have around you. You just take your hands and hit on the floor. That is okay as well. So make sure you have your instrument in front of you and you're ready to go. We're going to first talk about the rhythms. Then we're going to talk about the different uh phrases that we're going to work with and then we're going to practice playing those phrases with a beat okay so i will see you in the next little bit okay so in this part we're going to just talk about the rhythms that we're going to use you can see i have phrase one phrase two phrase three phrase four and five. Each rhythm is com a combination of different rhythms. They have either a, this rhythm, this one, or this one. Let's just review them quick. First, what is this rhythm? This is a ta. You can see the words written right there. And how many beats is it worth? One. So let's practice that. So we're going to practice ta. I want you to practice ta by putting the beat in your lap. And then we're going to say ta. One, two, here we go. Beat, beat, saying ta, 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 and stop. I hope you notice that ta and the beat are the same. Ta is the same as the beat. They are matching each other. Ta matches the beat. Here we go. Now we have ti, ti. Now, that's actually two rhythms, T and T. Two rhythms together, that's why there's two dots. You could just have one T. We don't have that in any of our rhythms, so I'm not showing it to you that way, but it is possible. So T, T, it's called T, T, and it's worth half of a beat if you only have one. But if you have two of them together, a half plus a half equals a whole. So together, two of them are worth one beat as well. Let's practice that one. So beat in your lap. Here we go. T T T T T T T T T T T T T T stop. I hope you notice that T and T, they were cutting that beat in half. T T T T T 
tea. One was happening on the beat, and one of them was happening when our, my hand was not hitting the beat. So tea, 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 tea. That's how it goes. Uh, all right, and the last rhythm that is in the, our phrases is two. Um, and this lasts how many beats? Two beats, more than a beat. So if we have our beat, 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 we're gonna go longer. Two, 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 stop. Okay, so those are our three different rhythms that are in our phrases. Make sure you understand them. If not, maybe you wanna repeat this part of the video. Okay, see you in the next part. All right, now we are ready to look at our five phrases. As I said before, there are five. We're gonna do some of them on the drum and we're gonna do some of them on our shakers. And as I said before, if you don't have your drum or if you don't have your shaker, just use the instrument you do have or just use your hands on the floor or on your body. It really doesn't matter. Um, try to do the instrument that I'm suggesting, but it's okay if you have something else. So first rhythm, let's read the first rhythm. One, two, here we go. Ta, ti, ti, tu. Ta, ti, ti, tu. So that's our first rhythm. Let's try to play it. Now, when you're choosing to play it, you can choose how you want to play it. Now, maybe you play the whole thing on one part of your instrument. Ta, ti, ti, tu. Ta, ti, ti, tu. Oh, don't do that last one. Or you might move it around to different sounds. Ta. Up to you, and you can change it every time or you can do it uh, the same way every time. Up to you, as long as you keep playing the correct rhythm. Make sure that two last two beats. We don't want this. Ta, ti, ti, tu. That's actually ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Be careful with the two, it lasts two sounds. Now you could, if you had something like this that you could make a longer sound with, you could go. If you want to try that, you can, that's a little harder. So don't, don't do it if you don't want to. All right, let's play it together, are we ready? Ta, ti, ti, tu. Be ready to repeat it many times. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Go ahead and grab your shaker. 
I'm going to grab the quieter one, and we're going to try to play ti 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 ta. Now, there's not a lot of different ways to play it. You can just shake it like this. If yours has a hard time making a sound, you might use your palm. It'll make a clearer sound. Um, we don't want to like just shake it around. Your goal is to try to make that clear sound. Ti 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 ta. I'm going to use my palm. One, two. Here we go. And stop. All right, that was rhythm number four. And the last one. Reading it. One, two, reading, go. Two, ti ti ta. Two, ti ti ta. All right, shaker again. So now we have to think about that two. How are we going to play it? I could try to go two, ti ti ta, two, ti ti ta, or I could just play two, ti ti ta. Just hold still. You choose what makes a better sound on your instrument. Um, I think I'm going to just hold it because I don't think it makes a very, it's not, it's not very loud. All right. Are we ready? One, two, here we go. Two, 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 and stop. All right, so that was the next part of the video. Now we know all of the phrases. I'm going to take these phrases and take them up behind me. So now we have one, two, three, four phrases. One, two, three, four, five. Five phrases, sorry, not four, five phrases. Next part of the video, we're going to be working on what you need to record um, in Seesaw. So stay tuned for the next part. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to show you what I want you to do for Seesaw. For Seesaw, I'm going to need you probably to have another device. Um, I have included in the Seesaw post and also in the second grade slide uh, a document, not a document, a sound file called Simple Song Beat. What I want you to do is I want you to play that beat. I want you to play your instrument, probably your drum, probably not your shaker, let's probably play your drum with that beat. And I want you to record yourself playing with that beat. Now it's really important that you do it with the beat. If you don't play with the beat, um, I won't be able to do what I'm going to try. My goal is to take everybody's videos and maybe mush them together and make a cool song. But we'll see if I can edit the videos that way. It must be with this beat though. You've got to be listening to the beat. Um, so you're going to need to find another device to play the beat from and record yourself with a different one. So make sure you're ready to do that. Um, and again, you can ask your parents for help if you need that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play the beat and you can play one of our five rhythms that we learned or you can play your own rhythm as long as it matches the beat. Let me show you what I mean. So here I'm going to play my song. So I might do number one.
Oh, and there it's finished, perfect. So you can see those are examples of what you might record. Make sure that you use that beat. We're gonna keep using that beat every time we record. That way we all have the same beat. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see you guys playing your drums with the beat. Again, make sure you have that beat. Bye.